hello and welcome to all in this video session we will learn about manual reorder point in SAP but before we start if you have not yet subscribed to our prime edusoft youtube channel then click on the subscribe button also don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the latest and free updates after every new video upload if you like this video then please click on the like button and also share our video now we will start the topic so in this video we will learn about manual reorder point in SAP first we will discuss about manual reorder point and then we will do the practicals so this is our example our company is ABC limited our plant is 1000 this is our plant code and we have material 100-100 this is our material code so for this particular material we have a reorder point level of 100 quantity 100 pieces so what is reorder point level or what is reorder point if the stock of this material goes below to this 100 quantity then we will have to procure this stock we have to procure this material and what is this maximum stock level uh, in our example maximum stock level is 500 so if our stock goes below this 100 then we have to procure the stock up to maximum 500 pieces in other words uh, in our plant we store maximum 500 quantity of this particular material not more than 500 okay so say uh, right now our inventory in hand or stock in hand is zero then we'll have to procure 500 quantity of the material why because our maximum stock level is 500 and if our stock in hand is 50 then we have to procure 450 quantity why 450 because our maximum stock level is 500 and less 50 pieces in hand or stock in hand so balance 5 so balance 450 quantity we have to procure so we can raise a purchase order manually also or we will use the concept of manual reorder point so the system will generate a purchase requisition via MRP run and afterwards we will convert that purchase requisition into purchase order okay so now we will do the practicals so first of all we will create a matter master so to create a matter master we will use the transaction code mm01 so in text box give mm01 enter select a material code industry sector and material type select required views I will select basic data 1 purchasing MRP 1 MRP 2 and accounting 1 here we have to give our plant code and storage location so 1000 is our plant code and 0001 is our storage location continue here we have to give the description for the material say manual reorder point material base unit of measure each material group is uh, 0001 press enter in purchasing view we have to give a purchasing group let's say our purchasing group is 100 press enter so now in MRP one view we have to select our MRP type so find the MRP type and then we have to select the MRP type as a VB VB stands for manual reorder point planning okay so here we have to activate this particular material for manual reorder point in other words 
we inform or we intimate our system that we will use manual reorder point for this particular material. So select VB that is manual reorder point. Then when we select VB we have to mention the reorder point. Let's say this is our reorder point 100, 100 pieces 100 quantity. So here we will mention reorder point as 100. MRP controller we have to give our select uh, MRP controller in lot size I will create a separate video on uh, lot size but right now we will select a lot size as HB HB for replenish to maximum stock level so our maximum stock level we have to mention is 500 so first we will have to select the required lot size so HB is the lot size press enter so lot sizing procedure needs maximum stock level to be specified so we have to uh, here we have select HB hence we have to mention our maximum stock level our maximum stock level is say 500 quantity enter here we have to mention a planned delivery time that is the lead time let's say five days in accounting view select valuation class 3000 price control will be moving average price and we have to mention the price so now we will save the material master So material is created. Now we will check the stock position of this particular material. So to check a stock we will use the transaction code MMBE. So here we will give the transaction code as slash N MMBE enter. Plan code. The stock position of this particular material is 0. Now we will use the transaction code MD03 so that system will generate a purchase requisition via MRP. So here in text box give the transaction code MD03 slash N MD03 press enter. Select one I will select one for uh, purchase requisition and click on the display results before they are saved enter now see MRP carried out for this particular material so this is a purchase requisition number so system has generated purchase requisition for 500 quantity okay let's say so this is a purchase requisition number for 500 quantity so this is purchase requisition system and generate this purchase requisition for 500 quantity why 500 because uh, we don't have any stock in hand and hence we have to we want to procure this material for 500 quantity based on our maximum stock level so system and generator purchase requisition that is a suggestion okay so system and generator purchase requisition via MRP so now we will save then we will use the transaction code MD04 for requirement list so in text box give slash n MD04 press enter material plant enter now see this is a 
stock or requirement list so now we will convert this purchase requisition to a purchase order okay click on the now see convert purchase requisition to purchase order so this is our purchase requisition now we will convert this purchase requisition to purchase order so click on the button for the conversion of this pr to po that is purchase order uh, here we will give organization company code okay vendor uh, select and this is our purchase requisition number mention the price click on the check button and then save the record save the purchase order so we convert that uh, purchase requisition which is generated via mrp into a purchase order now we will refresh this report now see this is a purchase order number okay so we have uh, create a purchase order Four five triple zero point seven two three nine. So now our vendor will uh, dispatch this uh, material to our plant. Four five triple zero one seven two three nine. So now we will process the goods receipt slash in my go. Press enter. Four five triple zero one seven two three nine. This is the purchase order number. Our moment type should be one o one. So select our storage location and click on the item OK. Check and post. So we will post the goods receipt for this purchase order number. So material document posted. So finally. We will check the stock position again. Slash an MMB to check the stock for this uh, particular product. Click on the execute. Now, stock is 500 quantity. Okay, so that's all for now in this video. If you have any query or suggestion regarding the topic of manual reorder point in SAP, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch and bye-bye.